This is how you carry 10 bags of groceries in one trip without smashing your bread. And I'd like to give a shout out to eGamer for throwing in this request. Take your first section of rope and lay it between the handles. Then fold your handles over so that you create a window right in the middle. Pull up your rope through that window and then feed your other section right underneath. When I pull everything together, you can see the beginnings of a twist. And since the bag before it and the bag after it are twisted, the handles get locked in between. Here we have a scaled down version of our grocery bags. I'll start by taking our rope that is on the far side and I'll weave it through the bag handles on the close side. And so I'll fold the first handle down then the one on the other side, I'll pull up my rope and I'll thread my handle through. And I'm gonna do this all the way down on this side. With the other end, I'm gonna do the same thing until they meet up on the left side over here. Now that my bag handles are all weaved through, I'm going to tie a reinforced granny knot on this side. To tie a square knot, you go left over right, and then right over left. And then you get a square knot or a reef knot. A granny knot is left over right, left over right. And you get something that looks similar, but it's much weaker. We're going to use that to our advantage, but we're going to reinforce it by taking our thumb, placing it through the center of the knot, and creating a window. That little diamond window you see in the middle, I'm going to place both my free ends through. So here's one, and there's the other. Now we just need to hold everything in place as we tighten it down. There we go. Now this granny knot is not going to come undone until we pull the pins out. And what I mean by pins is simply the free ends. So let's pull those back out and it'll come apart. If you're not worried about things getting crushed, leave them towards the inside. The sensitive items like bread and eggs, those go on the outside. Make sure your bag handles are pointing straight up. And now I'm taking my length of rope. This is about 16 feet and I'm just throwing it over the handles. This end that's farther away, I'll pull towards me. Now I'll take the handles to my bag and I'll cross them over so that I create a window in the middle. I'll pull the rope up that's laying there and then I'll thread my free end through. And I'm just gonna do that all the way down the line. Cross my handles, create a window in the middle, pull my rope up, and then thread my free end through. If the handles won't touch, I'll take my piece of rope, I'll just bring it up through one handle, and then pull a little slack in and bring it up through the next handle, and then I'll thread it through. Same thing on the other side, I'll cross my handles, create that window, find the rope, and thread my free end through. Over here I'm going to tie my great granny knot. That's just a regular granny knot. What I'm going to do here is open up a little window down the center of the knot, and then I'm going to poke my free ends back through where my thumb's at. And this knot will hold very well. Once I pull my pins out, it'll come apart just like a granny knot does. Now the great thing about this setup is a bag stay wherever you anchor them in. And that's why I put my soft items, my eggs and my bread on the side, because when I lift this up, check out how it stays in place. No.